I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Hey, yo. Recording in progress. Recording oh. in progress. Oh, no. Don't say anything Uh-oh. terrible, EJ. <laughs> Yeah, I hate uh... <laughs> anything anything terrible. Get your Long Island iced tea off the screen. <laughs> it's actually a whiskey and coke. What kind of coke? Yeah. More whiskey than coke. Is it Pepsi, Diet Coke? What what kind what kind of what kind of whiskey? Oh man, I was hoping you were gonna stick with the coke thing, so I could be like pure fucking Peruvian Bam Bam. Peruvian oh. Bam Bam. <laughs> Well, dude, episode it's eleven. Cool. We are on episode eleven of this fucking stupid podcast. Happy to be here. <laughs> yes, we have a very special guest, comedian, and uh, I don't know what else do you do. <laughs> Fuck around. <laughs> and cha- cha- around and cha- cha- change your hair every week. <laughs> You're a sass. What's up, dude? Yeah, I think definitely fits you. It's, it's psychotic. Here. You're technically. You know what she said? What? She said she. Oh, she fucked yeah. around and found. She fucked around and found <laughs> out. And what, what did she? But she didn't do this. That doesn't even count as fucking. That's, that's, just, that's see just... that that's the only thing the cult told me uh, when I when I do my uh, my my bit about uh, fucking a deaf chick. <laughs> I don't have fuck with King Henry the Eighth. All right, uh, we're getting way off, <laughs> way off topic here. Uh, yeah, uh, Sierra, you're technically our fourth guest because the first guest we ever had were our wi- were our wives, and then the second, and then the after one after that was my Manny, wife was Manny Gasset, a good friend of ours. <laughs> so now you are number yeah number four. Love how's, Manny. How, how's love it, Manny. How, who does love him? Who does love mayonnaise? Manny the man. Yeah. Man, I can't stand Manny. Manny's a fucking dick. I'm just kidding, man. I know you're not. I love you and you know it. So. He might. I don't know. I mean, he, he's he's busy. He's he's doing good things. He's doing out there. Uh, okay. he's, he's doing out. I, I don't Manny's know what the fuck that means. Big show. Scotty, have you ever thought about, like, matching your beard to your to your hair color? I, I've done it before. And, have you? Uh, well, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. And... <laughs> well, actually, so if I shave my beard and I dye my hair, I would look literally ten years younger than than I am. Yeah, I've seen a picture Steven sent me. <laughs> Wait, we well, saw what picture Steven sent you? I don't know. It's some picture of you like in a car, I think, like this, and like you had no beard. Oh my god! I I don't remember sending pictures of Stephen to pictures of me to Stephen anywhere. I mean, what the? I mean, did, I haven't I, I haven't done I haven't shaved this off in like years. What 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 fucking picture does he? I'll I'll send it to you. But he was saying like how he made a joke about how you have like DSL or dick sucking lips. Everyone well, says I, I have DSL. I have everyone says I have DSLs, and everyone says EJ's got a Brazilian butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah. Yeah, here's my here here's my DSLs right here. Okay, never mind. You <laughs> said Brazilian. Uh it was funny because uh yesterday I actually got asked if I ever had a butt lift done. And I was like, What dude, I'm a guy. Have you ever got what done? A, a butt lift. A butt lift? Like where they do the, the Brazil like the you got asked that? that? I, I I mean I don't know. There's some dudes. Oh, there there she is. There's the eclipse we've been waiting for. I've got a fat ass person. <laughs> Hold on. Right, I guess he, I didn't notice. Like what? See, th- this is what happens with with this podcast. It, it just gets out of control at times, especially when it's just me and him. Like we we'll, we'll, we just lose fucking. We just lose. We lose sight. Anyway, we we have we have, we have to interview you. So how you doing, yeah. Sierra? Are you doing good? I'm doing good. Um, yeah. Haven't been doing a lot of comedy lately. Just a little bit fucking around here and there. No excuse. Um, yeah, excuses. Yeah. Um, uh, what are you gonna say, EJ? <laughs> oh, I sent her the picture that everybody else has. It's on my face. Fucking. Uh, oh, your ass. <laughs> but uh, 
I need to though. So like, you, it's in my head all the time. You've been doing comedy for what, like like a year over a year now? A year, a year, over a year, yeah. How how's that but how's it make you feel? If if like I mean amazing. I love it. But if if Tony Hinchcliffe asked me and I was in an interview on Kill Tony, I would be like, I've been doing comedy for zero days. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he'll probably tear you a new one literally, right. li- literally. <laughs> right please I'll, I'll, I hope I'll he does I, I don't is... know I don't know man even, <laughs> even if I was gay and Tony Hinchcliffe was gay too I would hate hearing him oh my god fuck me oh my god lick my asshole <laughs> I'm good man I bet he's like super like masculine though like when he like in that in the, in those moments, like I bet he's masculine. <laughs> so so <laughs> just 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 say you think he has a big dick, okay? I mean, like you don't have to say he's masculine. Like so you think he's like. So do you think he's like Mighty Joe Young in bed? He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no. He turns into Macho Man. The cream will rise to the top. <laughs> he pulls out Slim Jims. He's like, you gotta eat these before you fuck me. There, you gotta put the meat in your mouth, brother. <laughs> or, yeah. the, or he could be like the ultimate warrior. He just runs to the bedroom. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> yeah, something like that. What the fuck? So, that was close. That was what's, close. <laughs> what's, your, what's been your favorite thing while doing comedy? Like, what's what's been like the, your favorite show or? A uh, moment, some sh- something corny like this. Just meeting all the comics, to be honest, and meeting people that are like me, and that make me feel like not so crazy, because I meet motherfuckers like me. Yeah. That like think oh, like so me, and uh, having a good time meeting meet all the comics. You could just volunteer at a you could volunteer at a fucking ESE class, and you'll meet more guys like me and EJ and stuff. <laughs> He's like, my favorite part about this has been running into more retards. I love it. I love meeting Bless men that are. Obs- I love meeting men that are obsessed with school buses and trains and making grilled cheese sandwiches at night. I love guys that drool over me and make jokes behind my back. I mean, you know. Like, that's what you just said like, the comedy world. Oh man, well, welcome to welcome to Tampa Bay comedy. No, what's what's your uh, what's your worst bomb? My worst bomb. It was at Sunshine City Comedy Club, and I don't even know. I think I was, like, sober or something. I don't even know what the deal was. But I went up there and told my stupid-ass jokes, and it was just so quiet. And I was like, uh, <laughs> but I, said, I was sober or something. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Every time I've done Sunshine City, I've always done really well. But the owner never sees me perform. It, it, it pisses me off. So I'm like done with that place. Well, so I, I walk out and it was me and you guys know Vanilla Steel, Brandon. Yeah, I fucking he love works, that guy. He works at Side Splitters. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. Um, so we, we both run outside after I just bomb and I fucking burped really loud. And he's like, <laughs> it would have been funnier if you just did that. I was like, I know. I remember a comic one time farted into the mic at, at like one of those mics and me, me, do you know LJ Brock? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have then, my Facebook. I don't think I've met yeah, him. Yeah, and then and then Jean by Jean, we we all just like we're standing. Yeah, I know Jean. Yeah, we're standing there. We just see it happen. We look at one another. We're like, we're getting the fuck out of here. This is ridiculous. Like, that was twenty comics down already. This guy just farts into the mic, and I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Probably, he really I'm, did. Yeah, I, I swear to God. It would have to What's be like that? the most pivotal, like perfect moment for that to work. Or just like being funny, I guess. I don't remember what what he was saying, but What's I was the just like, man "That's always with Kevin Hart." Uh, what? The the comic she she does a bunch of funny movies now with Kevin Hart. Uh, Wanda Sykes. No, she's so <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> I was like, hey. "What?" She does a bunch of movies with Kevin Hart. I don't know. Uh, Fucking. Come on, she's been in a bunch. She's got uh, she's got a mole right here at her eye. Uh, she's freaking. She's loud. She black? She's black. Wow. Yes. Oh, um, is she like light skin? Yeah. She was on Bridesmaids, sure. right? I believe so. Isn't like, oh, isn't like, isn't, isn't like Maya, Maya Angelou or no, something? Not, like that? Not that or, or, 
you know, wait, is it Rosa Parks or fucking uh, <laughs> God, Oprah? No, but you know, like Rosa Oprah Parks Winfrey, fucking uh, Mary McLeod Bethune. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to name up. A... What's that other one? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, child. Oh, child. Oh, Trump came back. He can't get back in the, the office that child. Dude, she was funny as fuck like a long time ago. Now I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? Oh, like sister act and all that? Her best role <laughs> ever was in Little Rascals when she had a two second role and then that was it. Yeah. Like everything else. Like, I mean, Whoopi Goldberg was cool back then. Wasn't kinda. she in Rat Race too? She was in Rat yep. Race, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Tiffany Goldberg. Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish. She yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I she not? used to be yeah. pussy farts into the mic. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, she used to. I think like, I that was one of her acts. Yeah, back in the day, she used to take the mic, put it right down at her front, and just let it go. <laughs> so <laughs> so is that is that what you think? Like, Remember in the second episode we did when I talked about the vagina monologues? Is that what you think about vagina monologue is? <laughs> where... <laughs> like, <laughs> like a long queef. <laughs> I only could sound like that. All right, what are we doing? All right, we're getting way off topic here. All right, all right. Um, I want to say real quick, though, is ahead, if you dye ahead. your hair to match your beard, you better do it the other way around. Like, make your beard like your hair. You, know, you got to get that little bit salt of and pepper. That's you... what I was saying. That's salt what I was saying. Pepper? I was like, am I retarded? But I was like, I feel like the gray, like the gray looks cool. Like the, like the, like the beard matches the yeah. hair. Thank you. And I, I will leave a male yeah. snail trail all over it. Male snail trail. Wow. <laughs> the fuck. male snail trail. <laughs> male do, do, your trail. Be, do your best Owen Wilson wow. Where? <laughs> You may do. That, that was it. That was it right there, though. You may do Gilbert Gottfried saying, "Wow." <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, we're getting way off topic here. So, white trash and in trouble, Sierra. You, I've already explained it to you, but I'll explain it again. Basically, you know, we we search the internet, we scour the internet. Actually, it's a better word to say that where we go find articles about people, you know, who are white trash, don't necessarily have to be white, and they get in trouble, and we make fun of them. EJ, what what was the last episode, man? We <laughs> it was two weeks ago. <laughs> what are we talking about? It's pretty funny. I remember it was funny. Oh. So I did the uh, the professor from Penn State that was fucking his dog <laughs> at the state forest. Yeah. <laughs> and, my, oh, and then mine was a guy who was trying who kidnap a scientist to make his dog immortal. <laughs> That's right. Yep. And Manny's was uh, he had two of them. The one was the the mom flipping out about the grandma taking the kid to Disneyland, and then and the guy who got into a fight at Culver's. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so that was what, so that's what we did last week. So I figured we'll go first. So that way you see what we do. Um, I think you went first last time, EJ. So I'll go first. How does that sound? Let me, sure. just, put, let me just put my, wait, thing. hold on before we even go. Okay. You know, who's white trash and in trouble? Don't who? Sierra. She's behind the oh wheel of a car doing a fucking zoom meeting. I hope you're not actually driving. <laughs> She's driving, <laughs> dude. I, I like. I got so upset when I, I was like, "Damn it!" No, I, I, am, I am my article. Like, I am my article. <laughs> the article, my god. Um, no, it's it's funny because when you say you know it was white trash and in trouble, I literally just went, "Who who the fuck do I have to block out now and work?" <laughs> I just worked all day long, and EJ's <laughs> like, "I'm gonna just." <laughs> Hey, at least it's at least it's not the other podcast I used to do where it literally was name, name, name. And I'm like, guys, shut up. <laughs> balls. Balls. Ball. Balls. Yeah, more balls. God damn it. Okay. So here's my here's my here's my article. So Sierra, I, I told you before the for the uh, podcast started. Um not only EJ and I, we know we love comedy, but we're big history buffs. And you know, our history podcast, we do that um, uh, opposite opposite Monday, white trash. But another thing that I love more than history, I love baseball. You know, baseball, the American yeah. American pastime, baby. So 
this and article that, so this article it. happened it, it was not necessarily an article but it's a story that happened back in 1921 T- take a guess which baseball player got arrested just take a guess you, you you'll know 1921 <laughs> Babe Ruth, baby. Babe Ruth yeah. once spent a day in jail before racing to the ballpark in time to save himself five hundred dollars. Ready to rock and roll? You ready for this one? <laughs> While it's been more than eighty-five years since he last played a professional game, Babe Ruth still casts a massive shadow over baseball. During his time with the New York Yankees, the Sultan of SWAT, the King of Crash, transformed from transformed from a talented player into a larger-than-life figure. You know, we already know who Babe Ruth is. I'm just gonna go and fucking get to the part. The great Bambino. The great, the great, great Bambino. Great Bambino. <laughs> um. I couldn't All believe right. you had every other nickname and not that. Especially <laughs> when you look like the kid. <laughs> Did you say I look like Babe Ruth? No, like the kid. The <laughs> like the <laughs> uh, like no, the kid I... from uh, Big Green in the Sandlot. <laughs> you think I look like him? <laughs> no, it's because you're fat and you got a little bit of orange. Nah, you're I'm being a kid. <laughs> well, you're a fucking Scientologist just like him, too. You fuck kids. <laughs> I don't fuck kids. I only fuck sexy kids. <laughs> Ugly ones can't get this. Anyway, no, they have, to, they, they have to pay. We talking about fuck them. Um, <laughs> take for example an incident back in 1921 when, after receiving multiple speeding tickets, Babe Ruth was ordered to spend a day in jail. He's like, "Oh, come on! I got to play for the baseball game here, sir." Babe Ruth was, um, as you might imagine, spending time behind bars clashed with his day job, leaving the Bambino to race across New York in a desperate attempt to save five hundred dollars. Uh, fuck! What oh, wait, else is going on? on? This was nineteen twenty-one, so it's yeah. before they let Colors play in the league. So mm-hmm. he was still like the champ. This is this is when Babe Ruth could steal first. See, <laughs> Sierra, this is what I deal. This is what I deal with. <laughs> It's funny. I mean, it's true though. I mean, come on. I mean, look. Okay, so, let's be real. If Babe Ruth was in, was playing baseball now, he would not last a fucking game. Like, no. Like, dude, I would have been considered a professional baseball player back in the 1920s. Like, if if you're like slightly overweight and a drunk, you can play baseball. You know, if you can throw a ball about 70 miles an hour, you can play baseball easily. Right. So I'm not overweight, but I can totally play baseball. You probably could. I mean, you're you're like you're like a spider monkey. Whenever I saw you fucking wrestle Tony, <laughs> um, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, um, so dude, my favorite uh like athlete from back then with speeding tickets is one hundred percent Joe Jackson. Joe uh, Jackson. Uh, sorry, uh, no, the heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, he was uh. He was black. He he loved white women, and what he would do, he'd get pulled over. Who does it was I like white women? <laughs> yeah. Well, he would get pulled over in George, the south. Speeding. George Foreman? No, no, no. Uh, God damn it! Why isn't it Jackson? I want to say it's Joe Jackson. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Shoeless? You talking about Shoeless Joe Jackson? Are you talking about no, Joe, Jackson, Shoeless, fucking, Joe Jackson? The fucking the fucking manager player. that that used Michael Jackson. Hold on. Jack Johnson, sorry. Jack Johnson. Isn't he Jack a fucking Johnson. musician, though? No, yeah. that's yeah. a white guy today. <laughs> Look back in the day, Jack, uh, Jack Johnson, he was a heavyweight champion. Here, I'll pull up a little thing for you. Uh, he was, I think his, wow. Of course, I put Jack Johnson, it pulls up the musician. Here we go. <laughs> Who else would it pull up? Okay. okay. He was a heavyweight champion. 1878. Uh, wow. Concert. He made it. 1878. Yep. He died in 1946. Damn. He, uh, his mother uh, was a slave. He uh, he loved white women, though, and he loved fast cars. <laughs> so he, had, he would get in trouble because he was a black man at the time. He'd be speeding. Right. They'd pull right. him over, and he would hand them, instead of, like, you know, a $2, $3 ticket, 
he would hand them a fat wad of cash and be like, here, don't stop me on my way back. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean to tell me that this guy so you mean to tell me that this guy was possibly like third gen generation Mandingo? Um, he was like second. <laughs> I he was. I think he was the first born free in his family. I believe. Yeah, Don't but do you, do you, but do you think his father was a fighter? At, yeah, during those times, because that's what Mandingos uh, I, were. I think his. What is that poster a, behind you, Scotty? The poster. A Return of the Jedi. It's Return of the yeah, Jedi. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Yeah. You should see when he goes to the bathroom. He's got one. It's called Return of the Brown Eye. <laughs> that yeah. was so lame. Yeah, that was, that but was, he was like, he said, Jack yeah. Nelson was attacked by the government though back in the That's day. why I go make too. sewer pickles. <laughs> sewer pickles. And sewer gravy. <laughs> Gotta make little Jack Johnson <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> 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 yeah, but no, the, the government went after him, though, because he was a black man. He was beating the shit out of everybody. And, like, lots of – I think he had, like, 60 knockouts. Damn. Right? And this is back in the day when boxing wasn't like today, where it's, like, big, heavy gloves and freaking clean – not even – I can't even say it's clean. Fights, you know, dirty shit in there. But, like – No flying like a butterfly. 40, 30 fucking rounds, you no, know. Or no stinging could, like a bee either. Yeah. They could put stuff on their gloves and try to, you know, make you pass out. Oh, but, now uh, she's driving. Careful there. <laughs> on this week's episode of White Trash and Trouble, we have Sierra Sass. Sierra Sass was driving her car in the Tampa Bay area <laughs> while doing a podcast with two fellow retards. <laughs> hopefully, 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 hopefully she goes through a toll so we can be like, help, she kidnapped me. <laughs> So because Johnson was banging white girls, though, like the government went after him, he ended up doing like a year in prison and then he fled the country. And you're drinking a fucking beer, too. <laughs> and it's a Corona. It's a Corona with, with, with no lime. With no it's just lime. water. It's just water. <laughs> Why? We've yeah. heard that one before. Fermented water. I've said that one before. <laughs> She's like, yeast? I thought you said yeast. <laughs> oh, that sign said yield? <laughs> it's modelo time now. She's over here looking like Nina with Harry. Is it? I mean, I mean Corona, it's not, it's not Puerto Rican beer. It's Palestinian beer. <laughs> oh, man. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> All right. Well, oh. okay. So Babe Ruth, he got he got arrested for fucking for speeding. He spent the night in jail, had to make it back to the ball game. I mean, Babe Ruth probably did more than just fucking speeding. I'm sure he, I know he used to pee on his fucking what what the fuck is that? Sorry about that. Sorry. What is that? That was loud as shit. She's, Somebody fucking yeeting it by drinking beer and driving a car. Sierra, you are the embodiment of this podcast. <laughs> and looks Happy like to be here. It looks like Barney <laughs> sat on Barney, but brought it with looks her. like Barney <laughs> sat on your head. <laughs> I know, dude. Okay, I actually have a joke about this because the color was called virgin pink. Yeah. What part of this <laughs> says virgin? This is like slutty. I do anal pink. <laughs> that is not virgin pink. <laughs> That's like the that's like the gayest version of like David Bowie right there. <laughs> so, this is not Virgin Pink. This is like it's I more like everybody. Pink. It's more like David Blow Me. <laughs> she looks like Sugar Free Sandra O'Malley. <laughs> Sugar Free Sandra. <laughs> Sugar Sean yeah. Ghost O'Malley. Where is Stephen Ferreira? He would love that joke. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep that. So you got to keep We've your hair like that from lot. now on. I fucking love oh, Steven so Pereira. Funny. He's great. Um, yeah. So Babe Ruth, I I don't call him white trash. You know, he's the babe, but I will call him yeah, in trouble. So EJ, you want to go ahead and start with yours? All right. So, you know, I have a vendetta against the UK ever since we beat their asses with pitchforks. 
We're keeping this going. <laughs> We're keeping it historical here. So, Siri, you better pop this one off after this with something historical. She's okay. like, the crucifixion of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans are white trash and in trouble. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> On this week's episode of White Trash and in Trouble, we have <laughs> Calliopus. <laughs> <laughs> in this week's episode of my trash is in trouble we have lazarus we killed him for a reason then jesus brought him back uh, all right all right so <laughs> a uk man by the name of chris rally 59 years old sustained horrible injuries like a broken neck fractured ribs oh let me, let me pull up the list here Fractured spine, broken neck, smashed ribs, blood in his lungs, and other car crash-like symptoms. Sounds like my first bomb. Because he tripped over his cat. That sounds like a Saturday night. He, he tripped over his cat and did all he of that. He tripped over his cat. He let pussy fuck his life up that bad. This man is white trash. <laughs> what did he fall from? Like a fucking like building or something? Well, he was walking through his kitchen. Okay. And his stupid ass cat decided, uh oh, she's pulled over right now. Look. Uh oh. There's other people in the car. Oh my God, what is going on? This is no <laughs> longer a podcast. This is Shout out to Mario. Uh, oh, no, to Mario. Mario. <laughs> it's a me, you know, Mario. We're, we're, we're live Whoa. streaming this on the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only place it needs on, to on be. the tour on the on the on the onion network so okay wait wait so the guy who fell fell he was 79 years old no 59 oh 59 okay i'm not a say, senior citizen when yet. you're a senior you're citizen you do have fuck. you do have very brittle bones i understand that but 59 <laughs> i mean you're still you're, you're old but you're not that old yet you don't have to be old like if you're 59 you could be in shape but but falling and puncturing a lung and and bruising a brain and fucking yeah, yeah what the like you, you he must so, have fallen hard. So no, no, he was wait, so wait, why through. why is he why is he white trash and in trouble? He did he get arrested All for right. falling over his cats? No, wait, no, he, he's in trouble because he got fucked up. All right, it's hospital bills. All right, he's white trash because he let a fucking hairless Egyptian sphinx beat his ass. Right. Uh, he jumped on his those leg. Fucking cats, man! This, this uh, started as like kitty, that's the kitty o- bang bang. That's one of the only pussies that should cow. have hair on it, man. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> he let a pubeless pussy fuck his life Pub- up. <laughs> <laughs> pubeless pussy. <laughs> His, an al- his an day was a movie. It Jada started Pinkett off as like. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if his day was a movie, it would have started off as Kitty Kitty Bang Bang. All right, when he was playing with the cat, and it turned into Apocalypse Meow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, fucking. Mm. Otherwise, so all right, so he he fell from the top story of his uh top uh floor of his house he fell down 14 steps okay okay and that makes cat- sense i thought i thought he fell literally like right there <laughs> i was like wait <laughs> you didn't say he fell down a flight of fucking stairs and you were just like oh he fell and broke his wrist broke his ribs punctured his lungs tear his tooth out and it only looked like the fucking tattoo on sierra's arm of the led zeppelin oh! yeah his smile went from sierra's to mine <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. All right. So Either he fell, way, so he fell down a flight of fucking stairs. Okay, because I, I was like about to like just scratch oh, he fell my down head. Down yeah. <laughs> okay. You could have clarified that just... in the beginning of your fucking bed, dude. <laughs> this is just more proof that British cucks cannot handle pussy. All right, <laughs> just like the royal family. <laughs> This piece of shit got fucked up by a piece of pussy. Well, they they well they like it related, okay. <laughs> the only difference is this was not inbred, okay. And Princess Diana was a better piece of pussy. God. She she didn't she wasn't an Egyptian sphinx, but she ended up with an Egyptian that stinks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and now her corpse stinks. <laughs> She's dirt napping six feet under. <laughs> Instead of her sons calling her mommy, they call her the mummy. 
<laughs> Where's your mum? Mummy? <laughs> and then Mario's like, Mamma Mia. <laughs> you know they call the queen mom? And yeah. their mom's mum there? Yeah. yeah. Fucking mom. I Fuck thought they Tony I, Blair. Fuck that Boris fucking. Retard. I thought they called each other like cunt and stuff out out in England, like cunt and bitch and fag, is like c- cigarette for fag. A cigarette was a fag, but cunt is more uh, frequently used in like Australia. Cunt is a is a lot. Oh yeah, you're right. I remember my sister had like they a. They still pen- use it over there. My sister had like a pen pal. Vulgar. She had like a pen pal from like New Zealand. I remember one time he called her a cunt. Mackenzie, my sister was like, uh, "What the fuck, you?" And she, he's like, "No, no, no, no. It's right. You fucking Americans. You guys think that uh, cult means bad? No, cult means your homie here. <laughs> <laughs> cult means yeah. your homie. You yeah. fuck. So yeah, New, New Zealand and Australia. It's a lot more uh, friendly usage. It's still considered vulgar though in the UK for the most part." Yeah, they say like bloody hell. That's fucking shit. bollocks. And bl- and, bloody and, hell. And blimey. blimey. Only a shag would hate the word cunt. <laughs> well, okay, so what's the what what's the resolution of this guy? So he fell, broke every resolution bone in his body. is get out of the UK, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hope if our if our comedy careers take off, we're I'm gonna book us shows in fucking London first, and you're gonna be like <laughs> I fucking hate all of you. All of you look like this. <laughs> Boy, me and my team, we're going to have some crumpets. You're going to steal my fucking hat. And you're going to be like, oh, I'm King Henry the Eighth. I am. <laughs> I'll take your hat and be like, come get your paper. <laughs> extra, extra. Titanic has sunk. <laughs> He's all about it. King Charlie's got something in his asshole other than the top. Anything from the trolley, Harry Potter. Anything from the trolley. He said. He said. He said. I'm good here. <laughs> He's got his like weird ass fucking. I'm good here. Oh my god. So okay. So he he went to the hospital. He got badly hurt, and that's it. These. No, no, he didn't even get to go to the hospital until like over 14 hours of laying at the base of the stairs with this fucking Egyptian sphinx, hairless fucking cat rubbing up against him like, you bitch. Well, well, you know cats will eat you as soon as you die. Cats eat you. I heard that. Yeah, like, yeah, like after you die, like a cat will will wait there and like. The the, the dog's dog's kind of like, hey, wake up. Hey. I'm giving you 20 hey. days until I have to fucking hey. eat, asshole. Hey. <laughs> oh, but here's what's even funnier. His phone was dead. So that's what you get, you fucking idiot. Right? His wife, Jackie, works nights. He married a woman named Jackie. Right? That never works for any man. Ask John Kennedy how that worked. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Got fucked up, too. <laughs> Recipes, JFK, you're a dog. No, I had a, I had a, I had a crush on a gal named Jackie years ago, and thank really? God. Really? Yeah, years. I don't think ago. I've ever met a Jackie in my life. She was, she, she was like, you. she was like ten years older than I was. So yeah, okay. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have worked regardless. Even, uh, even if, yeah, no, she was like, yeah, wild. and you would have been what's, paralyzed. What's the dead, oldest? What's what the biggest the age world. gap that you've dated? Uh, well, she was Is like that maybe the biggest age gap. I was probably like thirty, and she was probably like two. I'm just. Kidding. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, now I was like 15 and she was like 85 and I was kind of, oh shit. <laughs> I wouldn't say dated, but like hooked up. I was like maybe like 20. Yeah. And I, I, I she was like, I think it's gal I met on Wait, like yeah, fucking, dating and hooked up are two totally different yeah, things. Yeah. I think, I think I met her, met her on like OK Cupid when I was like 20 and she was like 35 at the time. So. Yeah. 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 I was 20 Fun. and looking up with a 56 year old Ching Chong that was not a fucking looking 56. A Ching uh, Chong? Like, yeah. You know, I got a thing for them. <laughs> I got the jungle fever from the Southeast Asia. Okay. Wow. He said a Ching Chong. <laughs> well, well, what ding about. Dong, ding dong, I got a ding dong. You well, know. What, what, what about you there, fucking Sierra? What's the oldest you've ever encountered? <laughs> Um, she did a lot of freaky shit for change. 
No, my ex-boyfriend was like 49 when I met him and I was like 25, 23. Yeah. Right. When you were in the carnival, you were 12 and he was yep. 60. <laughs> yep. Where'd you, where'd you meet him in class or something? <laughs> in the carnival. <laughs> oh, the carnival. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. thought you were yeah. younger. That's why he went for you. <laughs> yeah, I met. I, I met. I met. No, a, he would make jokes. He'd be like, "I gotta trade you in for a younger model soon." I'm like, <laughs> "Geez, what is it? Le we not, date Leonardo no. DiCaprio? Yeah, to yeah. Go to 25 to I was basically dating Leonardo DiCaprio." <laughs> <laughs> or Jack Nicholson, or Jack Nicholson, <laughs> or fucking Jerry Lewis. I think he, I think he was married to his fifteen-year-old cousin when he was like 13. forty. Thirteen, no, yeah, thirteen-year-old cousin. It like cost him his career, dude. What oh my fuck? god! All right, Scotty, you love music like I do. I fucking hate music. Oh, everybody <laughs> loves music. <laughs> I love it. But you like the the cool stories behind it. Look up Mike Judge, the guy that did King of the he, Hill. Yeah, and Beavis and Butthead. He, ru he ruined. He ruined Winger's life. He ruined Winger's life. King Kip Winger from Winger. He ruined his fucking. He ruined his career because because of the kid wearing the Winger shirt on fucking Beavis and Butthead. Oh. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, he's got a show though called uh, Mike Judge Presents ah. Tales from the Tour Bus. Thank you. And one of the episodes was Jerry Lee Lewis. Like, oh my dude, god, it, 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 he gets like the old roadies and shit telling the story, but he does it as a cartoon. Next time we're hanging out, I'll show it to you. Please do, man. That's that sounds fucking cool. Um, it is. all right. Now for the headliner. What do you got, Sierra? She's never been called that. <laughs> the headline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that made me feel good. She's got the yawns from all that beer. <laughs> EJ's done headlines. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> What? All right, what do you I got? I stood in a line in my head. What? So, so I shit my pants doing a line. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, continue, continue. <laughs> no, I did true story. I, I talked about my. I, I have a stand up bit where I talk about it. All right, go ahead. I'll talk later. Urgent pink. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> um. So there's this guy from Kentucky. Um, I can't remember what what town, but he's from Kentucky. Fried chicken. And it just came out. It literally just it just posted that he came outside and he like somebody gave him some glasses for the eclipse and he stared at the eclipse and he realized he was gay from staring at the eclipse. <laughs> Well, like for his cousin, right? Because you, you know the Kentucky state motto, don't you? Hang on, hang on. I, I think I know why he's gay. I think I know what video he watched when he realized he was gay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sierra, do you know what the Kentucky state motto is? I'm going to say this to both you guys. The closer kin, the deeper in, because they're a bunch of fucking inbuds. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, while Scotty's finding uh, his Scotty doesn't know theme song, I'm making a drink. Hold on, no, I'm 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 just uh, sending you both a video of how he how he realized he was gay <laughs> after watching. Does everybody clubs. does everybody call you Scotty? Like, are you Scotty? All no, day? Uh, you can, people you can call me Scott. I mean, like, I yeah, I, 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 I don't thing, like we call him Scotty. I don't use my I don't use my real I don't use my real name for stand up or anything like that. G is a short is my last name shortened. Uh, oh okay. Yeah. So so is that it? Uh, guy became gay after looking at the solar eclipse and now he's white yeah. trash into trouble. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There goes there shows your fucking homophobia. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, that was I'm gay. Scotty's real I watch name. lesbian porn all the time. Are you talking about? Huh? Scotty's real name is Scott. <laughs> Aki mushroom. Yes, thank you. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, well, that was a very successful episode, guys. This was fun. Hold on a second. What? Does, 
I want to cover a little bit more about the Eclipse turning this guy queer. She just okay. fucking explained it. <laughs> I, I need more. Like, well, okay. I, I know, right? I, just, I, I need more, need too. Like, yeah, I'm gonna like, I need, I need more. Yeah, so. Yeah. So that's it. So he just he looked at the eclipse and realized he was gay. Did you think it looked like a big butthole or something like that when he looked at totality? I don't fucking know. I think it just like affected him so much. Like he looked at it and realized, like, you know, we're so small in this universe and life is so crazy. Like life has been going like this and I actually like men. Like I need to just. <laughs> so he went like sunglasses at the sun and was like oh that looks like an asshole, I want to fuck an asshole. <laughs> that's what i was thinking maybe more than likely yeah well well <laughs> shucks well shucks a hairy asshole on a dude <laughs> i don't know buttholes frighten me i don't give i don't i don't care what gender you are they're just you ever um, looked at a penis not attractive? I, I, I i look at it every fucking day and i hate it <laughs> Why so small? I gotta put a mirror here, a mirror here, a mirror here, so I <laughs> and then a magnifying glass next. To it. <laughs> well, oh, hey, Mar- hello, Miranda. <clears throat> well, this has been a successful Pookie! episode. What'd you What'd you say? I called her Pool Key, and that's that's Asian for friend. <laughs> Is that really what it means? <laughs> No, I'm fucking being racist. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> uh, all right. We can make up all types of things. Ching Chong means, hey, guy. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm sure. I'm sure what it means. Sure, I'm exactly what it means. Anyway. We're anyway. definitely getting, we're definitely getting <laughs> shadow banned. <laughs> all right. This has been a successful episode of White Trash and in Trouble. I'm Scotty Chi. And I'm EJ Salter. Yeah, and we're white trash and in trouble. Yeah, so long, everybody. Uh. <laughs>